So hi everybody. Okay. Yeah, now we Looking can see. Good. How is everyone doing today? No, we are Pretty fine. fine. Looking uh, forward. Thank you so much, uh, Minister. Thank you. It's my sincerest hope that we are all doing fine on this fine Thursday afternoon. Um, I would like to extend my warm greetings from Zanzibar. I'm truly honored to have been given this opportunity uh, to be the guest of honor on this very important platform to Lira Africa. Uh, on behalf of the Ministry of State, President's Office, responsible for works, economy and investment, I want to take this opportunity to thank the High Commission of the United Republic of Tanzania in uh, South Africa through His uh, Excellency the Ambassador and the organizers from Lira Africa, my sister Fei Shao, who we've been in constant communication throughout our arrangement of this meeting. Uh, I want to thank them in particular for agreeing to facilitate and host this important and crucial event that aims to link uh, our two business communities from our two countries. We all know that Tanzania and South Africa share long and cordial relations, which of course have evolved over the years, but the long history of uh, cooperation between, between our two countries has made us come even much closer. Uh, we forged the bonds of friendship, I can say, as well as uh, brotherhood. And uh, through the early days of liberation struggle, Tanzania has always stood by our South African brethren uh, through the fight for political as well as uh, economic liberation. I want to reassure you of my uh, government's commitment government of the United Republic of Tanzania, as well as the revolutionary government of Zanzibar, of our continued and uh, deepening the uh, economic ties of our two countries through expanded trade and investment with the goal of achieving decent livelihoods for our people. Our participation in the forum is a clear commitment, is a clear testament to our commitment as a country to further open our doors for potential investors from South Africa. I firmly believe that much can be done in the way of improving the current business environment that exists at the moment. And uh, we know that through the fifth phase government and uh, the steady leadership of His Excellency President John Pogba Magufuli, that over the past five years, Tanzania has achieved middle income economic status, which was achieved actually five years earlier than was projected because we were supposed to achieve that by 2025, but uh, we were able to achieve it in a much, on a much faster timeline of 2020. But uh, we also uh, have a gross national income of uh, $1,080 as announced by the World Bank. Uh, and this is a res as a result of our steady economic growth for the past 20 years. And with a steady GDP growth of around 6.8% to, to 7%. I know that uh, as of this moment, we're going through a global pandemic uh, through the coronavirus, which has impacted uh, pretty much uh, the global community. But Tanzania has been very fortunate in that in our case, we have a very unique scenario that we can't quite explain it, but we are the only uh, Southern East African country that is considered as coronavirus free. So some phenomenon is happening there. I'm not quite sure how, how we can explain it. However, uh, compounded with a stable political environment, uh, you know, we are considered as the safest country in the world to do business. And uh, according to the latest Global Peace Index report, Tanzania is the most peaceful country in the East African region, seven most peaceful country in uh, Sub-Saharan Africa, and we are the 54th most peaceful country in the world. And so with that, I would like to say that our doors are open for business. Karibuni sana. Uh, we tried to do a little bit of research before we entered this platform. Uh, 
we came to realize that uh, South Africa and Tanzania, uh, Tan South Africa is the third best, is the third largest investor in, in Tanzania with well over 220 South African companies that are already invested in the country, providing employment opportunities to well over 21,000 people. And we also have a trade volume of around 1.6 billion US dollars, but we believe that there's more room for growth, more room for more South African companies to come in and invest so that we can expand our existing trade volume. On our part, Tanzania is highly committed uh, for, through its agenda of, uh, to promote rapid industrialization and to continue to ease restrictions as well as uh, undertaking uh, deregulation measures. And uh, all of this is aimed at uh, improving the business environment as well as to enhance the ease of doing business in, in our country. So we are ready to craft a new model we're ready to craft a new model and uh, uh, to create a new uh, partnership with our South African partners where government and business can work together to clear the way for more investment to flow between, uh, between our two countries. With that being said, I, I would like also to take this opportunity to welcome all potential investors to Zanzibar. Zanzibar is part of the United Republic of Tanzania it's an island nation where we have two islands. The main island, which is Nguja, where I'm sitting right now, but we also have a sister island called Pemba. Nguja is the, the, the biggest island with approximately 2,300 square, square kilometers. And Pemba has approximately uh, 1,464 square kilometers. Zanzibar is located in the Indian Ocean about 23 miles, 23 nautical miles from the main, mainland, mainland Tanzania. Uh, however, it is easily accessible through either the air or through uh, regular ferries that uh, commute around five times a day. So it's, it's pretty accessible. Uh, it, it's world renowned for its beautiful beaches and the rich uh, culture. And uh, we, are, we are part, the Stone Town, which is our famous uh, city, is actually part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site. So we are, we are, we are proud of that. Uh, Zanzibar, like Tanzania, is also a very peaceful place, uh, economically and politically stable. Uh, and that's a testament to the previous election that we just concluded where everything uh, went as smoothly as possible. The government has continuously been involved in improving the business environment to allow for private capital flow. And this new phase government under President Hussein Mwinyi is particularly business friendly. Uh, we, we, are, we have set our agenda based on uh, the blue economy, where we look forward to continue opening up in five different sectors, including the fish, fishing, uh, sea fishing, uh, tourism, transport and uh, logistics, uh, as well as uh, uh, deep uh, offshore drilling for oil and for oil and gas. So the, you can see the enormous potential areas of investment that we have in those in those areas. But my colleagues from the Zanzibar Inve uh, Investment Promotion Authority (ZIPA) they will come in and uh, provide more detail in, in those areas. Uh, however, I'd like to say a few things about the ZIPA. Uh, it, it is a one-stop center for investment, promotion, and facilitation, which was established under Act 14 in, 20, 20, in 2018. And Zanzibar being part of the United Republic of Tanzania, we cooperate very well with our embassies abroad and uh, we thank our ambassadors and our high commissioners from different parts of the world for continuing to encourage our investors, to, to encourage investors to come to Zanzibar and grasp, grasp the opportunities that are available here. Also, Zanzibar has been participating in business missions, exhibitions, and conferences, which are also organized by our Tanzania embassies abroad. 
uh, even in the case of this pandemic, we can see that the High Commissioner in South Africa through your team and DIRA Africa, we're still continuing to, to, to promote investment. So we like to commend you on those efforts. We didn't want to allow the virus to uh, shut us down. For Zanzibar, uh, I can say for, for Tanzania, uh, we're filled with love and gestures of friendship. And uh, we consider ourselves as very, as very welcoming people. And so we want to welcome everyone. Uh, and I would like to take this opportunity to particularly welcome investors from South Africa to come in and cooperate with us in strengthening our business relationship and stimulating our investment and uh, in, in business environment. We're extremely hopeful to witness more business dealings from uh, our two countries and for uh, strengthened trade and investment uh, relations. And so please allow me uh, on this auspicious occasion to express my sincere gratitude and appreciation for the kind invitation that was extended to me and my government to be a guest of honor in this important forum on trade and investment organized by DIRA Africa. And uh, I want to wish all the panelists a wonderful presentation and uh, wish everyone else uh, a nice discussion. Thank you very much for listening to me. Asanteni sana. Ashkuru. <laughs>